Uh, fun weekend up north in Minneapolis for Vanderbilt baseball, taking two of three at the Cambria College Classic at the home of the Minnesota Vikings U.S. Bank Stadium. Big swings by guys like Enrique Bradfield and R.J. Austin and R.J. Schrack, including a walk-off sack fly in the Saturday win over Maryland. And then to cap it off on Sunday, four Vandy boys combining on a no-hitter. Grayson Carter, Sam Lavoki, Ryan Genther, and Nick Maldonado. Now Tim Corbin's team returns to Hawkins Field, starting off a five-game homestand. And not a lot of stuff's going to ride out of here, but as you mentioned, pretty big fastball, too. As we see there, 94 up in the eyes. Yeah, that was a big fastball for strike three. And there's one of his specialties, and that is drawing walks. 2-2 two, two for Moore with one out. Went upstairs. Got him to swing and miss. Two gone. To get the W. 1-2 pitch. There you go. Strike three called of Grayson Moore. Three strikeouts. Ball and a strike. Not hit especially hard. Center field will drop in front of Green. A two-out base runner for Vanderbilt as Shrek singles to center. Offensive output is what Tim Corbin's trying to find. Big bouncer third base side. Mills can't get a glove on it. Trying to make a pitch and get out of the first. Runners go on three and two. He strikes out Vastine. Another slider to end the inning. One, two for Moore toward right field. Out behind first base, will get down for a base hit. Bonskar puts on the brakes at first. Nolan and Shrek trying to get there. He just put it in a good spot. He is. Pitches high for ball four, and Dyer has now walked in six consecutive games. Tennessee Tech with a one-out threat. Payoff for Moore. Runners go towards center field. It's going to get down for a base hit and bring home a run. Bradfield plays it on a big hop as Bonskar comes around to score. Again, didn't hit it hard, but in the right spot. Austin Turner, a two-out RBI. It's one nothing, And back to the leadoff spot in Jackson Green. Runner on the move. Throw down to second. Now they have the runner hung up between first and second. R.J. Austin runs him down, and that's all. Tags out Austin Turner. A two-out single back in the first. Long drive, right field. Bryant gives this one a look, and it's all even at one on a solo home run by R.J. Shrek. Might have hit a car out there. That thing was long gone. Holy cow. Third home run for Shrek. RBI number eight. Two for two day. The plate stop. The game's tied. He talked about the, the need for RBIs, the need for power from this guy. And there it is. I mean, that's a fastball right down the middle. He doesn't miss it. Garza left side. Vastine couldn't get to it. Leadoff man aboard for Tennessee Tech. Frame number four. Two and two. Toward third. Fair ball is the call. Digging for third is Garza. And Dyer, after a battle at the plate, is out. Trying to stretch it into a double. He's asking for a replay. Yeah, it looks like he's safe. Payoff pitch, Futrell trying to get Vanderbilt out of a jam, and he does. Strike three. Kept him off balance with off-speed stuff. Payoff to Vastine. Ball four on a pitch inside. Vanderbilt has the leadoff man on in the fourth. Goes to the backstop. Vastine will get a free 90 out of the wild pitch. That he's got so far this year. Throw back to second is off the glove of Garza. And Vastine. Moves on down to third base, so a wild pitch and an error. So 14 errors in 12 games now for Tennessee Tech. Fly ball short center field. It will drop for a base hit. Vastine waited on it and will come across the score and make it 2-1 to one. Vanderbilt. First lead of the day for the Vandy boys. I don't think I've ever seen so many numbers in one game. I mean, that... Long drive right field. Chases Bryant back to the fence. A foot away from a home run. As Nolan digs for second, a double for Parker, puts runners at second and third with nobody out. Takes ball four, bags are full for Matthew Polk. Big bouncer up the middle, Tech trying to get two, four to six and that's all, run scores. As Maldonado comes home, Faked a first throw to third, and they got him. A play that rarely works, but it did right there as Parker Nolan is tagged out. 
by Mills, the third baseman. It fooled me and caught me sleeping. Yeah, fake to third. It looked like Nolan was trying to get a little bit extra, assuming that that ball could have gotten away, but. Pretty good size lead for Polk at first base, as you see there to your right. It's ball four to Bradfield. Pitch to Austin gets past the catcher. Offering number one goes to the backstop, and those runners with great speed move up 90 feet. It's in 2022. Line drive left field, base hit's gonna bring in two more. Polk can walk home, Bradfield scores easily. Big two out hit for the freshman R.J. Austin to tack on two more here in the fourth. Round tripper at Hawkins Field may have his second one. Right center field and deep, but will be dropped on the warning track. Green came over, tried to make a sliding catch. R.J. Austin comes all the way around to score as Shrack ends up at second base, and Vanderbilt leads 6-1. 3-0 to, to Diaz. He can't find the plate. Gardino with a walk to the Commodore third baseman. Came home on a base hit by Chris Maldonado. Throw back to second into center field. The shortstop bonds guard fell over the base runner. R.J. Shrek, and now they tag him out. What's going on here? Yeah, definitely some miscommunication. Yeah, there was the initial pickoff throw. Shrek looked back at the umpire. And yeah, he Jordan pointed Farrell. at the ground or something. I think he was gonna, he was asking if he could go on to third base. And in the meantime, Tennessee Tech tags him out. <laughs> he said, he just said I could. <laughs> <laughs> Payoff to the leadoff man, Vastein. Ball four and a good start to the fifth. One strike pitch, right center field. Maldonado is three for three as he sends one to the gap and to the fence. Vastein gonna come to the plate. Maldonado drives in another run and Vanderbilt leads it seven to one. The run rule comes into play as Bulger takes ball four. You're trying to play three or four games in one day and mm -hmm. serve toward left field in the air. Turner makes the catch. Maldonado tags from third. He'll score without a throw. Sack fly for Polk. His second RBI, and that makes it eight to one. Another two two to Bradfield. Lifted to right. It's Bryant. Waiting and catching to retire the side, but Vanderbilt adds two runs. Oh, payoff misses way outside. One out base runner in the sixth. We'll bring up Davis Diaz as Shrek is on base for the fourth time. Three times he's been to the plate tonight. Long drive left field. See if the wind keeps this one in the yard. Not a chance. Diaz hammers one out of here to left field. And Vanderbilt adds to its lead. That makes it 10 to 1. I haven't seen that pop from Diaz. Holy cow, that thing got out of here in a hurry. He got his pitch to hit, and he did not miss it. Yeah, that was that was straight into the wind as well. We've seen some power come out of this in the entire offense. There's a fastball right over the middle of the plate and got every single bit of it right in there in the left field cut. Payoff to Vastine is ball four. Trying to continue the perfect night. It's ball four. That'll work. Uh, an actual sleeping bag in his car for games like today. Right side and through, base hit off the bat of Noland. Coming to the plate is Jonathan Vastine. The throw is cut off. 11 to one on an RBI single by Mr. Noland. One Knoxville native, an RBI hit off another. Oh man, up and in to Matthew Polk. And so I took my batting gloves off. I was just hoping that there was a mark and sure enough there was and I was able to get first base. Fly ball to left out the bat of Bradfield. Retires the side in the Vanderbilt sixth. Commodore's had three. Pulled down to third and gets past the sliding mills. This will be extra bases for Austin. And a close play as a throw comes in from Turner. Austin got there in time. Lead off double. Bat speed's a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger. So some of those balls really start to ride out of here. Out to shortstop, we'll get another run home. Bonds guard throws out Diaz. Austin comes in from third, and Vanderbilt makes it an even dozen as 12 to 1 Commodores. 
Anderson's 2-1 pitch popped up, might do it. Arias, right side of the infield, makes the play, and Vanderbilt completes a 12-1 victory over Tennessee Tech. Mm-hmm.